Hola a todos, soy Samuel y para quien que no me conoce... Hola a todos, yo soy Samuel y para quien que... Hola a todos, soy Samuel, quien no me conoce... Yo... Olá a todos, sou o Samuel e para quem não me conhece, estou a aprender português. Alright guys, so one week ago I let y'all know that I would be studying Portuguese for an upcoming trip to Brasil. We find ourselves one week into this 90 day Portuguese sprint and I report good news. I have actually learned a little bit of Portuguese. I'm going to share with you guys uh, just some kind of thoughts and observations I guess that I have exactly what I'm doing to learn Portuguese and at the end of the video I'll break out some Portuguese you know for the whole progress tracking aspect of course so if this journey intrigues you be sure to follow along all you have to do is like the video and subscribe okay just like general thoughts here um, knowing Spanish is definitely an advantage when learning Portuguese there's a lot of I mean a lot of the structure a lot of words um, are are very similar if not the same uh, and then there's pronunciation. The biggest shock, I guess, that I found was pronunciation. Spanish is phonetic. I mean, you pretty much, if the letter's there, you pronounce it. Uh, Portuguese is not really that way. Uh, the first word that really caught me off guard, their currency. In English, we would call it a real, um, or uh, in Spanish, they would also call it a real. If it's plural in Spanish, you'd probably pronounce it reales. Um, but in Portuguese, it's pronounced I mean, what's that all about? Where did those letters come from? Hmm? Who do I blame? Do I blame Portugal for this? I feel like Portugal's at fault here. The most frustrating part of that is that there doesn't seem to be a rule about certain pronunciations. Uh, if there is, let me know in the comments below. I just haven't found it yet. Uh, you just kind of know how to pronounce it because of the way that it is. Oh man, is this what people deal with when they're learning English? Sorry, scratch that. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Uh, it's just a thought, an observation, if you will. Uh, another one that threw me off guard, the numbers. Some are exactly the same and some are just way off. Uh, example, here's one to ten in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Very familiar. Anybody growing up in the United States, uh, you learn that in grade school. Here it is in Portuguese. Um, dois, três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez. Sete, oito, oito, nove, dez. Just a, a mild frustration, I guess. The numbers are just close enough that I think I know them, but I probably don't. I'm not going to spend too much energy uh, on, on that topic, though. Uh, I'm just going to trust Portanol to carry me through if I'm having a, a conversation in Portuguese. They should know what I'm talking about. As far as how I'm learning it, um, we're just trucking right along with Pimsleur and Duolingo, some music on the side. Pimsleur's great. I just finished my seventh lesson uh, to conclude the first week. Uh, it does seem to move a bit quick, but that's good because I'm trying to move a bit quick. Um, every once in a while I have caught myself kind of pausing it, trying to collect my thoughts. That just helps solidify. Uh, it's good to be speaking, you know, from day one. Um, learning, you know, little basic things with the flashcards that they have at the end of every lesson. If you haven't tried Pimsleur, you should really do yourself a favor and try it. I'll even include in the description below, there is a link for a free trial. So, no excuses. Check it out. As far as Duolingo goes, I'm just trucking right along. Uh, the first few days were tough because I was trying to always do it on my phone. Uh, you're going to run out of hearts real quick. Uh, if you don't know, the web version is actually, there's no hearts, you're free to just fail as much as you want, retake the lessons. Um, I was going through really slowly and writing down every new word um, with the English and sometimes Spanish translation. Kind of throwing that idea out the window after a, the first week taught me that I'm just going to I'm just gonna go as fast as I can. I'm going to kind of cast the net wide, if you will. And then as I close in on my first month of the study, I'll touch base with you guys because that's when I'll start jumping into some Portuguese podcasts, uh, YouTube channels, videos, things of that nature. So that being said, I'm going to have to develop a list here. So let me know in the comments your favorite Portuguese speaking YouTuber or YouTube account, perhaps, and uh, a podcast if you got one. Muito obrigado. And then, as far as progress goes, uh, last week was rough. 
And after a week, there's not a ton to report, but here we go. Okay, yo me llamo Samuel. Yo soy americano. Uh, yo entiendo un poco de portugués, mas no falo muito bien. Uh, yo puedo falar un, un, unos, unos pocos frases en portugués. Uh, porque aprendo portugués con Pimzer y Duolingo. Um, yo sé frases como... Yo quiero, yo quiero comer un pan de queijo. ¿Ah? Um, yo quiero beber una cerveza. Una cerveza... Me entiende. Uh, Vos me entendí. Um, yo gusto portugués um, y well, I, I felt like I had more, but we're just gonna keep on studying. See you guys at the one month mark. <laughs>